three, two, one. Alright, cool. Meh. <laughs> Stop it. Meh. Hey everybody, welcome to another awesome episode of Toy Geeks Behind the Counter. I'm Jack. I'm Ben. I'm behind the counter. Woohoo! That's George. <laughs> That's George. <laughs> hey guys. What a fun filled week we had last week. Looking at all of that Japanese stuff that you guys brought back from your trip. And all the stuff that you got in the UK back in June. Wasn't that fun? Amazing. Amazing. What will we look at this week? More toys. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, I actually have something that I forgot to bring last week. Oh. That I don't know if it's even still available or if it's sold out by now. But okay. We um, might as well mention it in case it is still available. Sure. Okay. Um, sure. The minifigure militia has been running. Oh, that's um, right. Yeah. They've been running the OMFG series in a clear, translucent um, green called the oh. Uzarian edition. Uh, so they have also worked with uh, whoever makes this figure. Um, who is, is it? it? Doomco Designs. Is it Tardigrade? Right? Yeah. Doomco yeah. at Doomco Designs. Um, it is Tarbus the Tardigrade. And this is the minifigure militia exclusive color. Yeah. So let's check it out. It is the nice. This looks like just released, like you said. Yeah, it was yeah. released. By the time you're watching this, it was a few weeks ago. But yeah. uh, China. It was yeah, just released on their but it site. It looks so nice. And there are other colors too, right? I know that minifigure militia is doing the screen, but I'm okay. sure that the Doomco people have other colors. Right, of right, this. right. Yeah. Uh, let me mention a few names from the back. Uh, Berserker Studios, worst toy ever. Uh, Illuminato, Illuminata, Illuminato, Illuminatoys. Illum I don't know how to say that. I'm terrible. <laughs> um, Twister. What is that name right there? It's too small to read. Which one? This one. That Let's little see. logo. And uh, Lacerta photo. It's, uh, see, it's something with an S. Squibble, uh, Simeon oh. Cheese. Squibbles Inc. Squibbles Inc. Is yeah. that the people that produce the toy? Oh, there you go. And what's so. this one? I don't know that. Lo that must be Doomco Designs. Yeah. Okay. I think we got everybody, right? Well, a lot of credits. Uh, so, yeah, so you can go to um, at the Minifigure Militia on Instagram or just search the Minifigure Militia store envy and buy some stuff. Sounds I good. I think there's still some uh, OMFG. How much is this? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. S dollars? Some dollars. <laughs> some dollars. Awesome. Some amount of money. Um, I mean, I could look it up if you want to talk about something oh, no. else. It's okay. Yeah. Um, some dollars. Okay. It's cool. Cool. I'm sure they'll have more colors. Maybe even a color at Decon or something. Yeah, I thought I saw a group shot of a whole bunch of them. Sweet. I mean, Doomco probably has a yeah, million yeah, yeah. colors, right? So. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just because... Oh, it's already sold out. $22 uh, it was. That's okay. a cheap price for a little guy. It's okay to show toys that are sold out. People can... Uh, well, you missed this because you weren't fast enough and you weren't staying on top of it. So go follow at the Minifigure Militia on Instagram. That yeah. way you won't miss the next release. They have some neat stuff. I dig. Um, this wasn't this thing up for like Toy of the Year or something last year. On the bigger one, my uh, oh, is it yeah. a different one yeah. than this? Okay, yeah, I think so. I don't know. I never saw how big it was supposed to be. That's good. Maybe it's that's a good one. little articulation, though. Yeah, yeah. he's like, eh. and his <laughs> claim to fame, at least the claim is that it's the first designer toy fully sculpted in VR. That makes okay. it good. <laughs> I guess. It's you know, all right. you know so what, just the marketing. You know just what makes it sharing. better? Like, bring it into the real world and sculpt it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just saying. Um, <laughs> Jeez. Uh, something I didn't mention last week, uh, mm -hmm. a figure that I really enjoyed at that Toy Art UK um, show that I went yeah. to that I talked uh -huh. about. If you didn't see what we're talking about, rewind to last week and watch that episode. Um, but there was a guy that had a, a custom... Uh, it was the Tardigradish Showman. <laughs> it was a little like he made a run of the great. <laughs> it was all like had a little hat and a little jacket and everything. Jeez, the Tardigrade. <laughs> no, but I sang when I saw it because oh. it was the most fun. It was the funniest thing there. Was it using that toy? I don't know what Tardigrade he was using. Okay, I don't know if he just sculpted it or if it Maybe was a using different something. color one. They're like crazy creatures too, Tardigrades. The water bear. Yep. It's a thing now. They're like sure. invincible. Come on. Uh, so I got these figures. I've never heard of this. Um, My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia. They're Sounds like some anime. An anime thing. from Funimation. Right? Um, mm -hmm. 
Yes. Oh, really? That's yeah. That's the hottest thing right now. That's the hottest, hottest thing. very hot. I've never heard of it. That doesn't mean anything. I don't hear a lot of things. I'm old and out of the loop. Mm. Um, okay. But if you'll take a look right here, you'll see why I bought these. Glios. Oh, okay. They're da, 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 Glios da. compatible? They are Glios compatible. Wow. Um, That's so interesting. This Mega Merge company, this uh, Mega, Merge? Mega Merge, Just That's Toys International, and oh, okay. uh, the line is called Mega Merge. So this is number, they're numbered. Yeah. They are. 13, 12. 14, so 12, 13, 14, 15. So are they? The first 11 were um, robots from, what's one, What's that? There's a, it's, they're, I don't remember. It's some, no, some, oh no, it's not some other anime thing, like some video game or something. Okay. But they're awesome. They're cool, like, like tanky robot guys, and they're all cut. At, there's a, there's, I think there's four humans in that line, and the rest of them are robots. Okay. But they're all articulated at this same spot. So if you got any of those, you can mix those with these. So are like, they all Glados compatible? Yeah. Even the robot ones? Yeah. Wow. The whole line of Mega Merge is so you can mix and match all of it. Um, you can get these at GameStop, so people out there, everybody's got a GameStop near them somewhere. Twelve ninety nine. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Um, you can actually go to Target and get some of the other, like the the previous line. I don't know if Target has the My Hero oh, ones yet. We're opening them. Yeah, you can open them. Okay. Cool. Um, anywhere that it's articulated, it's also a joint. A joint that you can pop apart and switch around. Because they're glios. Um, so are these? Have, have there been all, other like sorry, sort of mainstreamy toys that were Glios? Compatible? This is kind of the first like foray in, for Glios into like mainstream, like for Glios to be at like else. for Glios to be at Target and things like that. Oh, yeah, okay. that's what I was saying. Yeah, this is the this Mega Merge line is kind of the first. And this isn't their line per se, right? They like license the technology. Uh, yeah, they're what? using they're using the fit function, the glass fit function. Okay. This is not put out by Matt Dowdy, is what it, what yeah, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. like. Yeah, this yeah. is this is a different company. Um, Do they charge companies to use their system? Uh, you just work with Matt. He, okay. He makes it happen. Okay. Nice. Um, so the, yeah, this is just toys Steve. international. The packaging is made to kind of show you that the parts come apart, mm -hmm. so they're put to, they're they're built as an action figure. Minus usually it's the left arm is off and in two pieces, so that you right. can see clearly that it's a figure that comes apart uh, and understand because it's different than most action figures, you know. Yeah, can you? Okay. You're better at that. So that's on. And what's that piece? You got an action. That piece. I guess you can take the ice off of his arm. Mm -hmm. And replace it with um, oh yeah, look at that the heat, fire, and ice. Or you could put it on the other arm, maybe. Does maybe. it fit on this arm? Uh, possibly. I actually have never watched My Hero Academia. All I yeah. know is that it's very, very popular. I don't know anything about I've it. Never heard of it. Um, I've never, yeah, I've never heard of it. But I needed to get these to make my glass collection complete. Um, but I also like these are cool because you can there's a bunch of guys in the glass world like I wouldn't mind putting some shoes on guys You know like oh, yeah, now you got a set of sneakers you could put on There's a robot made by uh, Nemo's factory that has that would work really well with these feet Well, it does go on the other arm. You're right oh, man. So and, and even if you're not in the glass and you just want cool my hero, hero Academy <laughs> <laughs> figures like my guys just falling apart he just separated it at his waist. That happens. Bam. But I can't get this arm in the same Bam. way. Bam. <laughs> so you can like. Whoa. You know, Whoa. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but Kevin didn't want to be on the episode, but he wants to play with toys. And there it goes. Oh man. Like, I are these really hard to plug in? Uh, they can be. The warm, the colder it is, like the the harder it is. It's air conditioned in here. Um, I think. Uh, George just oh, knows yeah. how the joints work a little bit better. Oh, but, yeah. you know, you've been collecting Glios for how long? A long time. Probably since they first started, right? Yeah, since pretty close to their it? inception. I have, a, I have some, yeah. <laughs> I, can send a, I can send a picture over and we can be looking at a picture of it right this now. This is if you want. some of the stuff that George It is actually owns. only some. I don't have them all on display. <laughs> like That's pretty cool. Oh, man. Here. Let me okay. help you. 
Thanks. <laughs> So you can get these, like you said, you can get them at Go GameStop or Target and this all the other This one's particularly places. hard. It wasn't you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, that popped right out, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Frankenstein yeah. toys. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like I don't know why you would ever want to do that. <laughs> it's awesome. But, like, with but the it's robots, cool that you can. With the robots, it was cool because then you can mix and match and build yeah, different yeah, yeah. things. And, like, with a lot of the Glios, like, the, the, like the stuff that Matt puts out um, at O'Neill Design, he has purposely designed it to be kind of ambiguous so right. that you can use the parts in a way that you build, right, like, right. Lego. He's designed that in, with that in mind. Right. So these are obviously more just action figures. Yeah. But it's cool that, like, you know, you can get one of the toy pizza dudes, take this off, and put one of the pizza cutter arms on, and then he's got a cool, you know, then he's got a cool arm weapon, or you can build yeah, you know, like different dudes lot. out of it. It's cool. With, like, the translucent hands, like the fire and ice. Nice. It's pretty um, neat. This guy just reminds me a little Oops, bit of, like, muscle men type <laughs> thing. That's like, the most popular character. All their heads interchangeable if you wanted to. Nice. Again, right. this line is a little bit weird because, like, I don't understand why you would want to interchange Oops. these things. But I'm destroying this. Toy. But they're glios. A little but bit at a time. It's, yeah, it's cool to be able to. Um, so that's that. Jack, did you bring something? I did. Got Show a few us. things. Sure. All well, right. first, I'm wearing this one thing, which is kind of cool. So this is from Funny Trend Productions. So these were things I got at Beijing Toy Show. It's a it shoe on your neck. It's a shoe. So Funny Trend Productions. Did you say FTP. in September? Oh no, not in September. Uh, I was like, wow, you August. beat my trip. August. <laughs> All right. Yeah. August. Um, Funny Trend Productions, they, uh, Chinese company. They make a lot of uh, sneaker toys. Their main toy is called Sneaker Box. It's like this like hype beast. It's sort of like part sneaker box and part. Hype beast. What's a um, hype beast? Hype beast. Hype someone beast, like hype Kevin. Beast. Hype, hype, hype. Just buys shoes all the time. Supreme, supreme. Um, so they did this thing where, and those <laughs> shoes, those toys have interchangeable shoes, and they sell like little blind boxes so you can get different shoes and plug them nice. into the figures. So they had this idea that they can make wearable ones, kind of. They just stuck it in this like plastic. So this is um, the off white version or something like that, or the Virgil orange? I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It, orange was the only color they made. So these were cool. This was like ten dollars. It's kind of just a fun thing to wear around. I thought. The color Nike. I thought, oh, it was super cool, and then I was like, oh, well, yeah, I don't know if I want to wear it around too much. But the voice. It's okay. Is it plastic or resin inside there? I believe it's resin, but I'm not sure. I haven't opened it. Okay. The voice that didn't want to be on the show says that it's probably orange because it's the color of Nike. There you I go. Think that's probably oh, true. There you go. What else did you get? Uh, let's see. Do we want to do the big thing or the not so big thing? Let's first? do the not so big thing first. All right. So this is by Andy Chen. Uh huh. He's a Ch another Chinese artist. He's done a lot of stuff with uh, SFBI. Um, this is his own project. It's called Feedback. Sfubi. 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 What's SF SFBI? Oh, Sfubi. Yeah. Sfubi. Pop life, right? S yeah. Sfubi. Sfubi. So Oops. So case. SFBI is a company? Uh, yeah, it's a brand. It's one of Popeye's brand, brands. Yeah. This isn't an SFBI toy, but he has done quite a few of those. So these are all toys that you got at the... They are. Yep, at Beijing. Wow, look at that thing. Is that a... What? It is. Yeah. It's a fully operational time thingy. Yeah, it's not meant for time, but yeah. Hourglass, so hourglass. <laughs> it's a time thing. It's a time hourglass thing. So this is thing. soft vinyl. It has like little beads in it, and it's feedback. The idea is that you know one generation feeds the next one, kind of. That the young is becomes pretty the one darn for the cool. Old bit. And it's a, it's actually beads. It's yeah, not it's sand. Beads. No, it's beads. Yeah. But it works. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Like sands. So Andy's hourglass. done a lot of um, innovative things. So he did this, and he has one that's like a Chinese drum. You can kind of like, uh, you know, ping pong it back and forth is the idea. But it's all it's got like a dragon's head, and it's all like soft vinyl. It's I wonder how many minutes. That's not very long. That's not one hour. Gorgeous. No, it's not even near. What an amazing piece. You like that, huh? Yeah. Really clever. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Wow. Pretty innovative. Very cool. Really you nice how much it was? sculpt, too. I don't. 
I can find out. Though. It sucks because like I hate clear stuff because you can't see the cool details of the sculpt. Yeah. But this is just so nice. Yeah, like the way it's painted, right? Wow. And I think this is the debut version. Of so this there'll time. be more. Probably, yeah. Wow. This is in Japanese, me? though. It's no, Chinese, no, it's yeah. Chinese. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's made in China. He was telling me he's always trying to like do different things. So. Cool. Wow. There it is. And the because it's pearls, it, they they slide around easier in there. Yep. Yeah. What a nice piece. And you can kind of hear right. it too, which is yeah. kind of fun. All right. So. Oh. Yeah. Am I even going to be able to get to this? That's really I'm cool. hooking myself. Yeah, I'm getting you only have this much time, <laughs> Jack. That's I got it. it. I got it, actually. I think so. All right. So this. <laughs> Jeez, what look at this box. What is this? This is. Did you bring this on a plane with you? I did, but it collapses down. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it better. Yeah. So this is Mecha Soul. It's by Clog2 and Adventure. It Whoa. debuted at Beijing Toy Show. Is that Japanese or Chinese or what? I'm not sure. It's it Japanese. looks Japanese. All right. Wow. I, it does come with shape foam normally, but there was no way I could take that on the plane. Okay. So I have it in this little bag so it doesn't get all scratched up. Look at that yeah. box. You'll you never look you at You didn't want to ship this again? No. You didn't want to ship it? No. You'll never look at smiley faces the same way again. How did I look at them before? I don't know. Ta-da! Oh. oh. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> wow. I Wait, this is what was in that box? Yep. <laughs> George <laughs> is not impressed. <laughs> he likes the box mean, better. Unnecessary packaging? Yeah, that box was cool. Uh, what? This is what's in? Let me see that thing. Yeah. Let me see this beach ball. Yeah. He is kind of right. It could have been easy. And it's vinyl. It is vinyl. Yep. So it's not going to like break or anything. Well. Yeah. So this is by Clog2. He does a lot of sort of mecha inspired I do. Things. I do like the concept. He's been, has he been releasing like new prints recently and things Clog like two, that? Clog2, yes. Yeah. Yes. He just did one. Um, Didn't he do one of Mickey? Maybe. I think the most recent one was a Dragon Ball thing if I remember oh, right. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How I much did cool. this cost? This, this is, is awesome. This is $200. Whoa. That's not bad. I was going to say four. Really? It's, with that giant box? It's huge. Yeah. It is yeah. massive. I like it because of the scale. I wish that it were weathered. Mm. Oh, like... Like, like there's all these details of like dented... Cracks and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thing. Like, yeah. I would like to see that thing weathered out. Right. Custom paint. This is crazy. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this piece. <laughs> I don't really have an opinion on this. Okay. Smile. It's not for me. Okay. But I can I can see the appeal of it. Yeah. I thought um, it was pretty neat. Yeah. And it's huge. It's not what I was expecting to pull out of that giant box. <laughs> okay. At all. Yeah. All right. Anyway, let's move on. Please. Okay. What else you got? That's all I brought. I like, the, I like yes. the base. I like the I, I like the little disc that you just set it on. So it's, yeah, it's hard to make a ball toy. Without, oh right, right. You know, yeah. you need that. You need something. Yeah, and it works surprisingly well. Actually. Yeah. yeah, it looks good sitting on it. Nice. Yes. Well, if you if you don't have anything else, we're gonna actually debut. Uh, debut. We're gonna debut. Why am I so excited? What are we debuting? The, wait, the, wait, wait. What is it? It's it's a what couple it? of the upcoming. Wait, it's more than one. Yes, yes. Uh, so wow. you know, Decon's coming up. Decon. Decon. Never know. heard of it. Never heard of well, it. Well, then go to designercon.com and look it up. Wait, anyway. Decon is bug spray or something. Rat poison. Rat poison. Okay. <laughs> Get it right. If you if you're gonna make the joke, make it right. So we're gonna we're actually gonna look at the first of hopefully many. Upcoming designer con exclusives. So we should mention that. Does that mean that it will be sold at like the designer con booth or something? No. Uh, we'll we'll discuss. Uh, these will be sold actually at the 3D retro booth. Okay. That's why we we actually have them now. Okay. Uh, but if you guys uh, that are watching out there have designer con exclusives 
We would love for you uh, to send them on the show uh, or send us something to talk about these exclusives or even contact us and maybe come on the show. Yeah, if be you're our guest. And come by. We'd and love we'd, to have you on. We're going to have a new episode every two days from now until DesignerCon with all new guests. Somewhere Victoria, our editor, <laughs> is like, oh. <laughs> That's probably not going to happen. But the things I say are also made up on the spot and lies. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, what do you let's do start. First? Little guy or big guy? Little let's guy or big guy? guy? Little guy or big guy? So the little guy, this is If a this is anything like what I think it looks like, this could be another packaging deceit for me, but I'm, am I hoping that it's as good as I'm imagining in my head when you open it? So <laughs> this is actually a James Groman figure. Okay. Uh, he's called Go Gorilla. Yes. Okay. From Go Gorilla Medium. Media, sorry. Cross your fingers. It's as cool as I think it is. And the DesignerCon exclusive hmm. is the metallic <laughs> version. Okay. There is a regular brown one. Yeah. I'd There's wait. a blue one too, I think. There is a blue one, uh, which is, but um, there it is. Go Gorilla. If you have to go, go Gorilla. <laughs> Close enough. Anyway. So, <laughs> um, what do you think? Is this a fun little guy? Isn't or something? Go he Gorilla is. Media? Yes. What is Go Gorilla? So Go Gorilla Media is a marketing agency. Oh, all right. And this, they they actually hired a James Groman to design their mascot. Okay. Uh, and after he designed their mascot, they're like, well, why don't we make some vinyl figures out of them? And they contacted us at 3D Retro and said, hey, we're making these vinyl figures. Would you like to have an exclusive color? Oh, all right. And um, I told them, yeah, we'd love to do maybe like a metallic. Okay. And we were messing around with the idea, maybe do a silver, like silver and then gold chest. But then I think the gold with the silver chest looks a lot better. Um, and uh, there he is. Nice. So he will be uh, debuting at uh, Decon. So he's an official DesignerCon 2019 exclusive. The first of many. Very cool. There you go. All right. The first yeah. of many that 3D Retro is going to sell? The first of many exclusives. If, okay. this, if right. this had a little opening right here, it would go perfect in your bank collection. Yes. Of my mascots. Bank. It'd have to be, it would have to be a little bit smaller. That's true. I think 3D smaller. Retro should start making vinyl banks. You should. Little tiny banks. That would be cool. Make them in Japan. Or anywhere. So, Little Sofubi characters. Yeah. So how much is it going to be? Do you happen to know? Um, I wish I did. Um, he's very cheerful looking. He right. is. He's quite cute. Uh, the good news is is that uh, James Groman will be at Designer Con. He will? Is this 3D sculpted? It is. Yeah, yeah. It is 3D sculpted. How can you tell? It's just, it looks soft and... Soft and cute? I don't know. Like, yeah. Do 3D sculpted things have like a sort of distinctive look? No, I just was wondering. Okay. For a James Groman, it doesn't look as... As like James groman -y. As crazy. And yeah. yeah. Like this yeah. is definitely like one of the cutest things he's ever done. No, not uh, not by far. There's a, a line out in Target right now of kids toys that are yeah. James yeah. Groman. Oh, really? In what? Yeah, super cute. Yeah. I follow no him on idea. Instagram and look at the stuff yeah. he does. All right, why don't we open up some... Uh, Wait, isn't there another one? There is another one. <laughs> what the heck? All right. I uh. want the second one. Okay. Well, Especially the since I sort of saw what the second one was. The second one is... Too big for me to get. Too big. No, you got it. Ooh. Wow, this is, that this is, is nice. This is another uh, 3D Retro Decon exclusive. Love it. Haven't we had this on the show before? We've Not had the regular one. version. So lava. this is the lava. 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 Yeah. Wow. Wow. Very cool. Look lava how version. Lava -y it is. And. And. Are there three more? Open it. Three more. You, did you do lavas of them all? Oh no, we only okay. did. We only did Batman. Okay. Um. So there was a pink version of this, or is, or whatever it was, uh, depending on when this airs. Of the um, a, a pink version of this one at New York Comic Con. Oh, okay. And this is the lava version, which is awesome. That is awesome. What do you think? It's cool. I like the matteness of it. 
Yeah. Matt Man. Matt Man. <laughs> it's actually like kind of weird. I like that it's yellow. The lava is yellow because then the logo is of the, the Batman of the logo. Batman is the black and yellow. Mm. Okay, yeah. It's the actual Batman logo. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. Matches you know, it's interesting. Shirt. It's so like matte that it almost has like a dark gray look rather than a black. I mean, it's black, but I see what you're saying. But I mean, it's black. Yeah. Here. It's neat. Want to check it out? There it is. That's a. Uh, that is really matte. And I think these are either going to go for like either like sixty to seventy dollars. I gotta, right. I gotta figure out. See, maybe eighty, maybe a hundred and fifty. Probably we don't uh, know. Three hundred, five thousand. Yeah, just keep going. Or or just twenty. There's only one, and it's three hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred thousand. Yeah, it's slightly open. Just slightly. What is the slightly? What is the material for the wing? PVC. AB ABS? ABS, ABS maybe? I don't know. I didn't feel it, it. I can't remember. It definitely doesn't feel like vinyl. Yeah, it feels like an ABS yeah. to make sure it keeps that shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's thin. I mean, it's, it taps like an ABS. Yeah. Okay. Well, there it is. It's really nice. Well, there you go. So this save your money now. Save, start saving. And, and just like the James Groman. $400. It won't be four hundred dollars, but just like the James Groman figure, uh, Joe will be at the show. Um, so if you pick this up, you can walk over to his booth and. In the same way that the James Groman figure will be at the show, Joe Ledbetter will also be at the show. <laughs> no, that James Groman will be at the show. Oh, is that what you meant? That's what yeah. I meant. Did I just say that? Yeah. I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> George is out. I'm back, me. baby. <laughs> Let's end this. Anyways, guys. Really? The shortest episode we've ever done. Yeah, wait. Is Half of it was yelling at Kevin. We have? I'm pretty sure. All right, is. well, you know what? Let's open that then. Sure. We have, let's do a blind thing. Uh, these were some of the leftovers that we didn't open from the Japan Coonuts. trip. Coon nuts. These are coon nuts. Coon nuts. They're Snoopy coon nuts made by Bandai. They don't look like raccoons at all. They're not raccoons. Why are they called coon nuts? Because they look like nuts. But they don't, they're like the little, you know, bop em, boppers. Bop em boppers. You know, the okay. things where you knock and they don't fall wobble. over. The weevil wobbles. Oh, you got oh, a Snoopy. Oh, I got the best one. Oh, yeah. Red Baron, baby. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, they're weebles. Weevil wobbles. Or These coos. are so good. Is that Snoopy or is that his? Yeah, it's Snoopy. Oh, hey. So this ben. is series one. Here you go. What was Snoopy's like dad ma name? What was that one? That weird like. That I thought that like was like Fred his uncle or, something. or something. Yeah, like what's his name? Do you remember? What you dare me to eat the candy or something? Yeah. What right. was Snoopy's uncle's name? How old are you? Oh, it's actually. Put in the comments if you know what Snoopy's uncle's name was. What are they? It was like a little scribbly looking guy. I think it was guy. candy. Fred. Are you gonna eat the name? other one? No, I'm gonna make you eat it. Oh man. Um, there eat that one too. No, so this There's is three. Now you have to eat it. Might have wheat in it. Oh, that's true. Anyway, um, how much did these cost? I forgot. Was the price on there? No, it was probably like four bucks. I think they were like two or three dollars. Yeah, I can't. Ooh, much. they're just ABS. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hard plastic ABS with a weight in the bottom. I love it. They are so good. Anyway. Actually. They're cat toys. <laughs> <laughs> They're basically cat toys. <laughs> they should be called cat nuts then. <laughs> Instead of coo nuts? Mm -hmm. um, these well, are where fun. does coo come from? Coo, like, because it's like. Because they're coo, babies, man. man. These are coo. Coo, man. Oh, all right. Let's end this. Anyway. <laughs> if you stuck through this, good we're for so you. We're sorry. Bravo. You deserve a coo nut. Just tell go, us what you want. Go buy your own. Go buy your own in Japan. <laughs> oh, it's good to have George back on the show. Go to Japan and buy your own. <laughs> we were worried we were getting too soft, but that's been fixed. Totally fixed. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Was this that week. all you got, Jack? Was that? Uh, yeah, I didn't buy that much. This time. Right. You really don't want to end this episode, do you? This is my favorite episode we've ever recorded. <laughs> really? Why? Coonuts. 
Could have. Mm. I just bit into it. So chalky. Is it bad? It's not that chalky. Bite into it. I did. I ate, my, ate mine already. Oh, what's wrong with you? Anyways, guys. Closed it. What? Wait, what? We didn't say goodbye. Oh, let's do it again. I thought you were doing that. Kevin's in a hurry. <laughs> Kevin just <laughs> turned off the cameras, just like <laughs> this. I'm done. Wow, Kevin. He's feeling like the audience right now, <laughs> and turned it off. They can push stop. So can Kevin. Yeah. Well, I've seen. I've so I've heard. He turned us off. He did what everyone wished they did five minutes ago, <laughs> and turned us off. Maybe they did. Thank you, it. everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time. Share. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. All that garbage. All that social media. I mean, this awesomeness. garbage. Like this garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Now you can hit stop. Go ahead, Kevin. Now you can kill stop. Kevin. Go ahead. Stop it. Kevin, hit stop. Kevin, sit stop. Kevin, now you're allowed right. to hit stop. <laughs> that was good. That, that was, was, that was a good. Like WTF. <laughs> that was a good Kevin episode. Oh my.